In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to lower your resolution on a high poly model sculpt in ZBrush in order to bring it to Maya where you can then retopologize it. The first way would be to isolate what you want to export in your subtool palette so that that is the only sculpt that is visible or only subtool that is visible. And then you can go to Z plugin decimation master and say pre-process current so once that is finished you can go back to z plugin and then you can say how much of the mess mesh do i want to decimate do i want to decimate 20 percent is the default i can crank this up to 50 or higher um, let's try 75 percent and i can just type that in too and i'll say decimate current and it's going to give me a progress update up here. So now I only have 1.505 points. I can come in here and I can pre-process it again and then decimate it again. I find that Decimation Master does a better job at keeping some of the finer forms of your sculpture um, when prepping it for retopologization. Once you add Decimation Master, you can then bring that into Maya uh, after you reduce the poly count to whatever you wish. Um, a quick way to do this, instead of going through Decimation Master, especially if you don't have a lot of fine forms that you need to capture in the retopo process, would be to go to Geometry and slam this Z Remesher button. Um, default settings should work fine. Um, but you can always tweak this to increase or decrease the number of polygons it's going to create. So I'm at 2.06 Z remesh. Now I'm at 11,291, which is um, great for my purposes. I don't need it to be really high poly, and it's doing a decent job at capturing all these forms. So I would export this as an OBJ. If I coming up here to tool and hitting export and then saving it where you know you can get it and then let's look at it in Maya and there it is